Hello there, my beautiful fam. This is me, Empress Arcana, and welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. Hi, guys. All right, so I am doing yet another celebrity tarot healing reading, and this one will be for Chris Evans. He has been very highly requested, as he usually is, and it's taken me quite some time to get back on track to do these readings, but I want to do this for you guys. So I have here all the decks to my side on my little pink table and I have here <laughs> the space for the reading so I do hope you enjoy it because it's been a while since I've done I've channeled um, these particular energies and so forth we're gonna just start off going blind I have I'm, I'm not keeping track with anything usually I do that anyway um, but sometimes I'm like oh I'm gonna search up stuff to, to like get no <laughs> I don't got the mental capacity for that right now <laughs> so I'm just gonna go dive right in and see what the cards have to say about Chris so all right brother from another mother let's go and I only say that because we have a couple of the same um he's a he's a Gemini sun Scorpio moon and I'm like yo bro sup <laughs> so here we go and so do I and uh, yeah so we're gonna go dive right into it we're gonna check in on his energy what wants to come through what messages want to come through and so forth and we'll take it from there all right Chris let's see what wants to come through mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we have here four of cups all right Oh, I felt that. Okay, so interestingly enough, I like using this deck. This deck was, um, I like using this deck because I see the colors on the little, like the doorway or whatnot, the archway. And here I, I like to interpret it using chakra colors. So the heart and solar plexus is feeling kind of disinterested and bored. There's, um, he's been um, kind of just hanging out wanting something to kind of spark something in him he's been just like i'm hearing apathetic i'm hearing bored and disinterested not saying that he's not working not saying that all that i'm just saying that deep down on a soul level which is this is this is this is the reading this is what i'd like to do no these are the reading <laughs> um this is what i when i channel um this is how I do my readings. I go diving deep into one psyche, into one soul, and grab the messages that want to be delivered or need to be healed. That's what I do. So, and yes, that, oh, okay. We got the Queen of Pentacles, and that's, oh, okay. Speaking of some interest, uh, with the Queen of Pentacles energy, with the colors i'm seeing sacral chakra like creativity being rekindled in a way like a fire it's a very earthy energy um capricorn virgo uh taurus a very uh interesting energy with that let me get some water excuse me um mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay sorry about that so I am definitely seeing here that he's kind of in an apathetic state looking for something to intrigue him. Let's see what else. Is going what else do you want to talk about, Chris? We have the chariot. Absolutely. Oh, this is root chakra. I'm sensing a bit of the sacral as well. Um, so definitely wanting to put put things in movement there is interest here in a queen of pentacles energy there is this desire to emotionally be invested in something again and driving forward with this chariot and everything starts at the root chakra that is the base that's the first chakra uh going by the seven chakra system we're not going into the uh, higher than that <laughs> um, I'm still studying up on the others but I'm going by the second uh, the seven chakra system um, with the chariot 
chariot is ruled by cancer cancerian energy is fourth house energy it is this is the home is to feel safe he really wants to go toward this energy of ah we have mental clarity here with the ace of swords so I'm picking up that we're going to get a little bit, we're going to dive deeper into that Queen of Pentacles energy because I'm a little, I wonder if it's just an energy or if it's a person. So, um, and I have a feeling you guys listening also are curious, <laughs> but um, I am sensing a desire to reestablish himself on a a deep level it's funny because when I do readings for Chris on this channel I've I've always picked up on this desire for a more spiritual journey uh to kind of understand himself better and I feel that um the person that he wants to connect with the people that he want to connect he wants to connect with excuse me he wants that soul level bond contract I heard okay Because everything right now in the physical is just so mm, materialistic. That's why the Queen of Pentacles energy has come through. Because that is a queen energy. That is a feminine energy. That could be either or whatever resonates with the person listening to this reading. But I feel that this Queen of Pentacles energy is a grounding of the emotions. And being able to implement them in a way that feels satisfying. It is not just surface level where I just have to complete this task. That is why I'm seeing the Four of Cups. There is a disinterest in the heart and the emotions. And it's um, affecting a bit of his solar plexus, his self-confidence in a way because he wants to feel a sense of fulfillment and not uh, just on a soul level because the soul craves for individuals that have that uh, that understanding. That's why we have soul families and we have uh, soul mates, right? Uh, we have this, um, this unsaid connection sometimes where it just feels so good and you wonder wow where did this feeling come from how do they understand me how do we click so well it's because there is this soul recognition and I feel that Chris wants this is craving this but he's just so stuck in the material realm or and matters of what is important to him the family uh his family what he knows but the chariot card is showing that there is a need for forward momentum that is going to bring him clarity with that ace of swords energy. Okay. Okay. Oh, all right. Let's get one more and then I'll, I'll pull clarifiers for the king of pentacles. One more tarot card, please. Chris, what do you want to say? What's coming through, please? Shuffling is so satisfying. It's a really nice feeling. Okay, no, I said one card, sir. Justice. Heart, again, heart chakra and solar plexus. And the bottom of the deck is the world. I'm leaving that here for now because I'm going to pull from this deck here. Actually, before I do that, no, I'm going to do this one. This is the one that called to me. Okay, so... With justice, that is Libra energy. That is like balancing of the scales. Again, this is showing me, excuse me, this is showing me a desire to balance the heart, a desire to balance himself within. He's tired of just living a certain lifestyle he wants something deeper on a deeper level and it's been very difficult to find a kindred spirit that feels this depth you know okay let's get let's get oh my goodness let's get a clarifier for the queen of pentacles energy let's go queen of pentacles please oh that's beautiful we got the grapes with Virgo energy, eighth house. This is the way I'm reading the cards because this is the zodiac um, 108 into it, Oracle. So, all right, I'm going to read Virgo. Okay. Abundance, bearing fruit, harvest, fertility, 
prosperity, fullness, juicy, overindulgence, tempting, goodness, plentiful. Enjoy the fruits of your labor. Okay, this is beautiful because a lot of the time the Queen of Pentacles is depicted with grapes. Is all the sorts of abundance that the Queen of Pentacles can provide because the Queen of Pentacles is that nurturing energy where there's a, a garden full of uh, of, of flowers of fruit uh, uh, or like the orchard with the fruits and and just nurturing from the the world around us the nature uh, a very earthy energy a very satisfying disconnect very different from king of pentacles energy because king of pentacles energy comes into the picture with okay i'm i've created this foundation i'm creating this business and the queen of pentacles can do that but there is this softer side to the queen of pentacles especially with what i'm picking up here especially with his desire for this family familial soul recognition connection that he is understanding now as his third eye and um crown chakra are connecting to this clarity right now this is what i'm seeing these are beautiful i i didn't think that these cards were going to speak so loudly to me well he chose the deck yes so let's see any other clarifiers for this queen of pentacles energy please any beautiful oh this is so beautiful we got the shooting star, another number eight. So the number eight could be significant. Maybe August, something about August. It says shooting star, quick action, wish granted, rare, falling moment in time, luck, dynamic, inc incandescent, dazzled, sudden, short-lived, passionate, enter uh, enterprising, and brilliant. So, okay. Um, and that's Aries energy. So I'm hearing, um, I don't want it to be a passing fancy. I don't want a shooting star just, just to come down and that's it. I want something more. I want something deeper. I want a connection that will outlive my physical body. I want something that's going to just live forever. And I haven't been able to find that. I just want to feel a fulfillment with the person that I'm with. I want to feel the world in my hands. They're my world. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, oh, that was intense. Okay, 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 okay. Calm down, me. <laughs> that was that was very very strong. Okay. Um. Mm -hmm. That's why the Four of Cups is there. He's currently so disinterested in what's around him. He hasn't been able to pick up on that more. He doesn't want it to be a passing fancy. He doesn't want it to just be a shooting star. He wants something to outlive him, the connection to be everlasting. That's really romantic. <laughs> uh, who thought? Okay. All right. All right, sir. Okay. Um, okay. What? <laughs> cards fell. Hold on. Head on. I got to get cards. <laughs> Another eight. <laughs> Another eight. Un numero otro, numero ocho. Okay. Sorry about that. Oh, woo -wee. So we got here old car and checkered flag. Uh, I pulled cards just because I felt like it. I was, I was not even asking a question. So I'll just interpret them for you. Um, needs restoration, exhaustion, family patterns, stuck in the past, nostalgia. Yes, this is... He is stuck in this old mentality oh shoot hold on yo eight 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 hey but i feel that with this nine in leo checkered flag conclusion outcome and verdict something is ending 
and he's going to feel such a relief. And it's interesting because we have the chariot, which is usually depicted as, well, a chariot or a car. Oh, oh my gosh. Synchronicity. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> okay. We have an old car. <laughs> this old car is stuck. It's like, I'm stuck. I can't move. Uh, I'm junk right now. I can't. And then here we have the shooting star with the grapes and this abundance, right? And then we have this queen of pentacles here going into this chariot. And then the checkered flag, it's like, ready, set, go. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. My, my, my thoughts are going faster than my, my mouth. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So what I'm seeing here is that he is ending a, an old car cycle, <laughs> an old cycle of sorts and entering a new phase that um i'm gonna get the other okay i'm gonna get this deck let's see what what this one what could the checkered flag mean please i need some more insight in this okay the checkered flag oh my gosh i'm moving my table too much and <laughs> i'm too excited i was like ah i i can't help it when i'm doing these kinds of readings and like stuff just d decides to like synchronize within the reading i'm like psychic detective that's me <laughs> Soy detective. let's go <laughs> um okay why is this checkered flag there what could it mean please yeah. okay ah oh. Hmm, this card is coming out a lot because this is a, Len a Lenormand deck. I also used this other deck for my last celebrity reading and I got mice as well. Seven of Wands. He is he has been protecting himself for so long. I see that because of the Seven of Clover, Seven, Seven Clover, Clover, whatever. Seven of Wands. <laughs> Clovers are wands with when we look at playing cards. Yes, it's pretty neat. Okay little side story so a lot of us that grow up in uh conservative homes and stuff like that um and they can't use their tarot cards um i've been through quite a bit of that um until i said f it and just did my thing because i felt drawn to this and i was stuck i was stuck uh, i was done being stuck in the proverbial closet when it came to my what I love and, and what I do. So I, um, I would use playing cards before I got my, my first tarot deck and I would just interpret with playing cards. So, yeah. Um, but many people do that as well. So it's handy when you can't really have a deck of cards because of your environment and no one suspects a deck of playing cards, right? Well, not most people. <laughs> 52 pickup. <laughs> Either way. Um, hmm. Okay. So. Yes. He is leaving something behind that has brought. Uh, has slowed down his progress in his um, self journey. Uh, journey of self. Uh, his spiritual journey, if you will. So I'm going to get another one because that left me like, what? come on, give me seven of wands. He's been protecting himself, but because he's protected himself from all this, he has left himself feeling so exhausted and tired and it's eating away at him, gnawing at him. Okay. Oh my gosh, this table. I'm moving it too much. I'm so sorry. One part. Oh. Oh, M, G, God, can we not have it? Mm -hmm. We got the coffin. The nine of diamonds is the nine of pentacles. So, yeah, this is a death of, wow, a death of self, like an ego death. He probably, um, his birthday did just pass like earlier June. Um, he might have had an ego death and now he's on the way. So all this here being presented, I'll pull some more tarot cards. Uh, all this is being presented as recent past. And now he's just kind of like, okay, balancing the scales right now. Um, no, I'm not going to pull from this one again. It didn't, I'm going to get from, hmm, I'm going to get this deck. I need more water though. <laughs> I talk too much. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. All right. 
sometimes when because I haven't eaten anything I've just drank water today it's just one of those days sometimes when I I'm very spiritually attuned I prefer not to eat because I want to get all the downloads and all the, the messages do all the readings I need to do and then just because sometimes uh, I feel food gets in the way of my that's me <laughs> I'm not condoning not eating <laughs> that's just uh, something that happens to me um, it's like I'm on I'm on empty but I'm running on spiritual uh, I'm running on spiritual essence <laughs> I don't know um, that's just me and I'm not saying if it's right or wrong I'm just saying that that's what helps me do reading sometimes but I will eat after this reading because then I gotta do some collective readings for you guys uh, I want to and then why am I telling you guys this I'm so sorry <laughs> I'm just telling you guys my schedule. It's like, okay, this is what I'm going to do now. And then I was. <laughs> uh, all right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. One more time. Why is that checkered flag there? Oh. I can't. What is this? Okay. Coming apart. <laughs> okay. It's literally the same message three times I'm done. Okay. I give up. Okay, Chris. I get it. I can't. What I find beautiful about this, eh, let's go. Look at the colors of, okay, hold on. Eh, ha, ha my handy dandy little pointer. So look at that pink and purple. And then we have pink and purple. And what I said earlier um, about the ace of, of, of <laughs> the ace of swords with the crown chakra and the third eye. I feel that he has reached a spiritual awakening or peak or something came apart in his belief system and he's like well in order to get this ball rolling I gotta let this part of me die hence the mice and then the the coffin so I am picking up from what I see here because I spirit Chris whatever energy is not <laughs> not giving me anymore it's the same message three times <laughs> <laughs> He has ended a uh, he has ended a cycle that has left him like four of, uh, four of, uh, cups energy feeling like an old car like uh, he can't start he can't start up the engine like uh, he can't start it up because it don't have any gas it don't it doesn't work he needs to leave that car behind get in a new vehicle and make his way <laughs> into the new chapter of his life so this is what I'm picking up here and especially with this world card. Oh my gosh. And then there's strength. There's a lot of beautiful energy here for him. There's a lot of like, he's learning a lot about himself. He continues to learn about himself like we all do. But I, I definitely feel a sense of clarity when it comes to his, like himself and a balancing of that energy, especially the heart chakra, because I still feel it's, I'm so sorry lately. I can't even speak like my thoughts are faster and then I my tongue gets tongue I get tongue tied and the words don't want to come out <laughs> the way I want them to um, um the justice card and the four of cups are both showing two chakras the heart chakra and the solar plexus and they're showing the healing and the balancing of energy so this is a very positive outlook and again that queen of pentacles energy is incentive Whatever that energy might be, this is just incentive of abundance to keep moving forward and to end a tough cycle of self, okay? Oh, that was a lot of information. <laughs> I'm going to get from this deck, okay? I'm going to set these aside because I already pulled from there. I'll leave them here because I thought they were very beautiful. Look at these beautiful colors. I love them. The infinity symbol, too. Cycles are continuing endlessly okay uh oh oh god I hope that wasn't a frog <laughs> I've had so oh, I don't want to even think about it yes I've had frog invasions invasion of the froggies I don't want don't want frog no thank you all right let's see what about now Chris what energy wants to come in right now what is going through right now what's going on what's going on <laughs> this 
and wants to come around this one too yes this is wow emotional loss hmm. and that's green and then the waiting game two of wands I feel that this is still stagnant energy. He could still be undergoing something. Like, how long do I have to wait to get to my destination? There might be, and it's interesting because we have the, the, I keep thinking like a race. This is not a race, man. You can't, okay, I can't shuffle. Apparently I can't shuffle. Can't shuffle properly. Um, oh my gosh, this is intense bottom of the deck is seven of wands stand your ground he is i that's confirmation for me he is still in this energy okay 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 this doesn't mean that he's gonna look miserable or something this is just stuff that's going within Ener <laughs> energetically <clears throat> excuse me so we have disruption this is the tower equivalent okay again over this he wow I wonder what his tarot year card was. I don't know. But there has been, like, I feel that he has been feeling like I feel kind of like I'm losing my mind. I feel that there has been such a disruption within self. I don't know what I want. Uh, every time I think I know what I want, I get lost. Oh, that's gross. I hear a frog. Oh, no. Get away. Nah. Uh, they, they're far away. It's not as close because let me tell you, fam, some of my earlier readings, they're not celebrity readings, but some of my collective readings, you can hear the frog that's stuck inside my AC unit thingy on the wall. And they sploosh out. And I will not go into that any more than what I... Mm. You don't need it. I have spoken about this before. I'm just not over it because it landed on me while I was trying to sleep a couple of times. And I, I do not feel comfortable with Froggy on my chest. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> froggy, you get out. <laughs> no. <laughs> no Froggy. Um, no Kermit. We can't. We can't do this anymore. <laughs> I'm, sorry, I'm sorry. No. <laughs> anyway, we have here the Seven of Cups. Choose wisely. Exactly what I was just saying. Oop. Mm, 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 damn it! I can't. No. He doesn't know what he wants. <laughs> he doesn't know what he wants because he is, he is overthinking it in his head. Like, what direction will be best? And because he's thinking about what direction to go in when it comes to the matters of the heart, no decision is being made. He's stagnant. I'm gonna get um, some clarifiers for these two cards. I'll use my other deck right now, and then I'll pull some. Um, <clears throat> final cards and then roll the dice and that'll be that um, because I don't think that he wants to he's like I don't want to do this anymore <laughs> I'm like listen what's <laughs> um, okay 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 Chris what um, the tower what do you want to any messages from there it's probably going to be the same message over and over tower what's coming through Oh my goodness. This is... I'm done. Oh. Okay. That one wants to come through as well. Okay, we got two cards here. Um, I will shuffle the one for the other one in a bit. Um, okay, we got two cards. The first one, Gaia, Mother Earth, equivalent of the Queen of Pentacles. But Mother Earth, inner identity, oh, grounded purpose, experiencing duality, inner versus outer worlds, Axis, polar opposites, fertility, practicality, center of everything, balance and satisfying. He wants that balance. He wants that satisfaction. He wants to feel this connection with another. And again, the number four reminds me of the home because that's the fourth house in astrology ruled by cancer energy. He wants to feel. He wants to feel. He wants to feel. I just keep hearing he wants to feel something. Damn. Damn, dude, that's deep. I, I don't know. And then we got here Queen of Air, which is the Queen of Swords, and also associated with the star. Um, this could be within two to four weeks, something significant for him, or during the winter or January, February, around their Aquarius season. So 
ruling planet is Uranus. There is a lot of that going on here. If I'm not mistaken, he has uh, Uranus in, in Scorpio. Excuse me. I'm not sure. I got to look at his natal chart again. But uh, what I'm hearing, yeah, he wants some, he wants, <laughs> he, <laughs> okay. So this is um, Queen of Swords energy. He wants someone that's independent can be a bit he a bit detached but still have that nurturing side to them but he someone intellectual someone witty someone that um have fun debates with but then end up like <laughs> wrestling on the couch or something and just then cuddles i don't know why that came through <laughs> uh but just that vibe that's the vibe <laughs> he wants the he wants the banter but he also wants the soft <laughs> the soft <laughs> but um he can't choose he hasn't made a final decision about this is what his heart this is what his energy is showing me through the cards so take that take whatever resonates fam hmm. well this ended up being this is this ended up being more of a his heart speaking, wanting, yearning, then other things. Look at that. But still, something changed within him. I see it in this section here, especially with the tower. All right. I'm going to get uh, a, a clarifier for that, for the choose wisely. And then we're going to go get some final cards. Why the Seven of Cups is here. I just heard I've got options. Oh, well, no shit. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That was out of packet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Raccoon. Okay. <laughs> Interesting because the bottom of the deck is the white wolf. I'll read both. In fact, I'll pull out both. All right. Raccoon is the problem solver, curious, asking questions, adaptive, creative, entrepreneur, mischievous, uh, mischievous, whatever, scavenger, resourceful, clever. Yeah, it's just trying to, wearing his little mask, like, well, what is it that I want? I'm going to go and he's trying to solve this issue of like choosing wisely. He's like, how do I solve this conundrum? You know, but then here with the white wolf, we have the confidence and guidance, trust your inner knowing. The answer for you, Chris, is that you got to just trust yourself and stop questioning everything, whether you have options or not. What does your heart tell you? What does that what what feels right for you? What feels like like I know this is going to sound lame. I'll just describe what I feel sometimes when I do I make a decision and I feel like it's the right thing. I feel it in my gut. I feel it in my solar plexus area, like like over my stomach, like I feel it feels like I get the ting, like certain tingles, like, oh, wow, I did something. I said I did something right. I, it feels good. I'm confident. And that's why I feel it in my solar plexus, because I'm confident that I'm it's happened. Like I did something that is in accordance to the rest of my um, um, my inner knowing, my inner compass or whatever, you know, um, and I feel that this is what he needs to do for himself intuitive opinion you know disclaimer and all that oh yeah uh did i not give my disclaimer well i'm gonna put it in the in this, the, the description anyway yes this is my intuitive to <laughs> when i learn how to speak <laughs> intuitive opinion with uh, pretty cards <laughs> this is not i'm not claiming anything this is just my intuitive opinion thank you very much all right let's go let's go on um but that's my that's my take on it that's what i feel so yeah that's what i feel all right we're gonna get some final cards here um hmm. we're gonna get one of these we're gonna get a chakra card we're gonna get a um a spell card and then roll the dice baby we're gonna roll the the astral dice okay one card please one 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 only one the whole deck just flies out it's like listen Hmm. You know what? I'm compelled. I, I, I split the deck in half and I see friendship and imagination. And I'm going to read them both. I feel compelled for these two. And then on the bottom is death and fear, but I, I, I already picked up on that. 
there is a fear there is a fear for things and these colors are beautiful and they are representing again more chakra energy like third eye mostly crown chakra i'm picking up he wants okay so friendship i understand that a friend is in my life for a reason i feel that he needs to accept this energy of someone being in his life to be his friend and um maybe he has been having issues trusting friends or desiring something more in a friendship i don't know that just that's what came through Ba-doop. and then we have imagination i embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind bingo bongo i i yes i agree it is beautiful it's beautiful chris i love this i oh my gosh i'm so sorry for i don't know what the heck kind of accent that is that is not an accent that is me eating shit <laughs> okay anyway but I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. He is trying to figure himself out. Right now, he is in a figuring out period. I am. That's what I see. <laughs> um, we're going to get a chakra card. Just a fun. And just a fun. Okay. What chakra is needing some attention for Chris? For Chris. Oh my gosh, I'm telling you, this crown chakra is, he has a lot of spiritual downloads coming in or like, like, uh, intuition. And he's like, I don't know, man, is this all in my head? Uh, the answer is no, sir. You just got to discern and just like, listen to yourself and all that. Listen to your heart. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay. Inspiration ruled by the crown chakra, a number Another number 46. I know I saw 46 somewhere else around here. I could have sworn I did. No. I could have sworn I did. Oh, well. Oh. <laughs> here is a number 46. I knew it. So 888 and 4646 might be relevant numbers to look into inspiration ideas spark conception and impulse what did i say in the beginning of the reading about a spark he has been trying to start up that old car oh ho, ho. yes and the way to do so is through the inspiration of something higher than self he wants to believe in something more and oh my gosh my doggo doggy i love you i love you my girl my baby She's, she's just like nestled by my foot because whenever I do readings, that's what she does. She's like, this is my spot. This is where I, I I'm home <laughs> by my foot. <laughs> my baby. Oh, it's so cute that she loves it when I'm doing readings. She doesn't get near me when I'm like not recording. What even? I mean, I'm not saying that my irrelevant, <laughs> irrelevant. Oh, my girl. My baby, my chihuahua, my chihuahua, <laughs> my old lady. Okay, so as I was saying, um, this is beautiful. This is exactly what he wants. He wants to start up that car, start up the, and, and receive something that's higher than himself so he can feel that connection. So it doesn't feel like he, he's been seeking this for a while. And I do believe from the last time I did a reading for Chris, um, there has been of development in self because the coming apart card just shows me that whatever he was going through, it ended, it ended. And now he sees things, th excuse me, through a new perspective, but he's still struggling with his, uh, inner knowing and intuition and having confidence and trusting that. So that's what I see. Okay. I'm going to roll the dice. Oh no, wait, I said one more, uh, the blessing. No, what deck is this? <laughs> I lose count of the decks. A spell spell card yeah okay una safe travel oh, this is beautiful we have a ship and it says safe travel keep me safe and let me roam far away but bring me home hmm. bring, but bring me home yeah he is on this journey he wants to be he wants to be brought back home on a metaphorical sense um he hasn't been able to find his true north, his home, 
within someone else. Like, I mean, we have to find it within ourselves. La, 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 la. You know, there's many interpretations. I'm not here to, to preach about that. No, I don't got time for that. But I will say that he is trying to find that person that just feels like home to him. So that's what I see in that safe travel. And it's, it's a safer travel now. It's been rocky. It's been, you know, um, it's been a bit chaotic, but he's understanding himself better now, especially with that, like, bluish, like, indigo. I'm think I'm seeing this, like, third eye opening and understanding that this is part of his journey so that he can, all the emotional loss that he felt in the past that wasn't what he expected it to be, he's going to be entering a new chapter where he will feel safe with himself and someone else. So it's that emotional vulnerability that he is learning to accept and learning to accept his own inner knowing. I like to trust it more, you know? So I'm going to roll the astro dice. All right. Da -da 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 -da. Let's roll. <laughs> Final messages, my dude. Let's go. Oh, oh, okay. We got Cancer, we got Jupiter, and we got the first. Oh, uh, excuse. Oh, mm -mm. It says fourth house, but I'm gonna put it back to first. But also double Cancer because double Cancerian energy uh, with the fourth house again i am picking up this cancerian energy to want that home experience of soul okay oh man okay so he is going through a transformation with it being in his first house this is of himself this is of how he portrays this is his body this is his soul everything him all about me it's about me right now and the cancerian energy is the nurturing aspect to nurture himself and expand on that expand and learn as um jupiter is not only expansion but a higher learning and, and knowing and it's very spiritual energy so he is adapting to a new sector a new part of life where life is more than just life is more than just what you see with your physical eyes he this is a very spiritual awakening of sorts this could also mean during again i don't remember his chart i'm so sorry bruh <laughs> but during the jupiter i'm thinking Oh, oh my gosh. Yes, 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 yes. Because if he's a Scorpio rising, aha, uh, it's, I, I know a lot of Scorpio risings in my life. Uh, but if he's a Scorpio rising, that means that his cancer house is the ninth house. Meaning when Jupiter enters cancer, and that's going to be like in two and a half years from now. Okay, that's not going to be anytime soon. Or like almost two years. Because currently uh, Jupiter transiting is transiting Taurus with a conga line of transits. We have a lot of, <laughs> if I, I could be a astro weather person, I'm like, this is the transits and we have the, <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> oh my gosh, I don't know. I'm feeling goofy. Anyway, so um, we have, he is going to go through a major transformation of self when Jupiter is in Cancer. In fact, wow, I'm sensing that. Oh, wow. Okay. He is definitely reevaluating his relationships right now. This is because his seventh house is Taurus. If he's a Scorpio, indeed a Scorpio rising. And the seventh house is with all those transits. We have Jupiter, we have, um, I don't remember. I think we have Vesta. <laughs> we have the North Node. We have quite a bit there. <laughs> we have um, we have some uh, June. No, no, I don't think Juno is there. Juno passed already. Sorry. Um, I have not checked the transits today. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> uh, and so again, sorry for those horrible accents. I just um, I'm feeling playful, I guess. Uh, so. Yes, this is 
what I see for him. Major transformative energy in his ninth house, which is a spiritual house. He's going to, I feel, I was actually talking to a friend earlier about how the ninth house, when Jupiter enters the ninth house transiting, I feel is going to be a time for many. They're going to be having another. If you've had a spiritual wake, awakening, you might be having yet another during this time. Um, so Jupiter entering your ninth house. That's just, that's just a feel. My ninth house is Gemini. So that's, that would be next year for me. Anyway, just, you know, uh, what I picked up on, you've got this, Chris, I am going to end the reading here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun with this. I know it's been highly requested and it's taken some time, <laughs> but I'm trying to get back into, you know, doing these things, uh, despite everything that's been happening in my own personal life. That's been very, um, it's been a, a lot, but I got to be positive and, I want to continue to share these readings with you guys. So thank you for that opportunity. And I want to send you feel good vibes away. And hopefully on to the next one. Take care, my dears. Bye-bye.